What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today I thought we should go ahead and talk about a few of the decks that were used in uh, uh, YCS Miami. The first one I wanted to talk about was uh, the X Saber deck. It has no side deck, so a lot of people were talking about this. And uh, since windups I know ended up winning, I figured it wouldn't be as helpful to you guys if I talked about that deck, because with windups getting hit and everything, it's not really worth talking about. So out of the tournament, I'm just going to talk about a few of the different decks that were more, more interesting. So tell me if there's some other decks you guys want me to talk about. But first off, let's go with this one. It is X Sabers. I still find it really awesome. This guy had no side deck, so I don't know what he was thinking of that. If he just wanted to try to prove something or what. But it was really awesome, I think, that he, he got so far. I think it was 7-1 and one and no side deck. So I think that's really awesome. Uh, so let's uh, talk about everything that's in the deck. All right, We have uh, Gores, uh, X Saber Earl Vellum, X Saber Peshul, uh, X X Saber Bogart Knight. So we have two of those. Uh, three Dark Soul, three Emmer's Blades, two Fault Troll, three Full Helm Knight, a Book of Moon, Dark Hole, two Forbidden Lance, a Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, two Mystical Space Typhoons, two Pod of Dualities, and then with the traps we have uh, two Bellmas Trap Hold, two Dimensional Prisons, uh, two God Almost Emergency Call, one Solemn Judgment, two Solemn Warning, a uh, Starlight Road, two Torrential Tributes, and two tra Trap Stuns. Uh, so yeah, uh, he has, you know, with the ban list, of course, making Soul Morning to one, you could easily switch those out for something else, you know, like if you wanted to try Mirror Force or another, you know, just something else out there. I think that, you know, this deck really didn't hit it all by the ban list, of course, uh, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, extra deck. We have Ally Jessica Catastor, a Black Rose Dragon, a Natura Barkeon, Natura Beast, Scrap Dragon, two uh, Stardust Dragons. We have uh, one X Saber Arabellum, uh, one XX Saber Gotham's. To XX Saber Hunnelly, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, for the XCs that he had, he had a uh, Fairy King Alberich, I believe that's how that one's pronounced as well. Let's see, uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon, number 20, Acid Golem of Destruction, and then for the last card in here, we have uh, Wind Up Zen Mains. So yeah, I th first off, I know I've said it many times, but I think this is really epic how this guy did so well. No side deck, using X Sabers, which is one of the decks that was a big meta deck back in the day, but really hadn't had much credit. You know, you hadn't really seen them around too much. So I'm glad that he did so. I think it's awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope we're going to see a lot more of these kind of decks that are a little bit different, that aren't, you know, the average, you know, everyone uses. It was like, for example, everyone, I swear, was just about using uh, wind-ups. So I hope to see more variety in, in upcoming tournaments, and I hope the, the decks that are, you know, more original like this will continue to do well because I think that is really awesome. It makes me want to use X Sabers again. And I hope we'll see X Sabers in the meta a lot more. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about this though. You know, are you you think it's awesome? Do you think it's stupid that he ran without a side deck? I think it's pretty cool move. I think it was pretty cool that he did so well without having a side deck. I, that deserves a lot of props for that. Uh, also, tell me what other decks from YCS Miami you guys want me to talk about. You know, I don't plan to talk about them all, of course. You know, I don't want to spam you guys with all the videos of that. And uh, I just want to talk about more original ones. So if there's, like, more original ones you guys want me to talk about, of course, tell me. You know, send me a message uh, in the comments or, you know, or in the comments, and I will catch you guys later. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you enjoy, like, some of these tournament deck profiles like this, tell me. I would love to hear it. You know, and if you enjoy it, I'll do more of these types of videos. All right? Later, guys.